be able to resolve this, this horrible set of circumstances. Now at 8, an Orange County doctor indicted for allegedly poisoning her husband. Tonight, the latest on this case. And a 7-year-old boy missing for nearly 24 hours found safe. But how did he end up on Skid Row, miles from his grandfather's house? Untagged and unexpected, a cougar caught on camera roaming in the backyard of a Southland home. But first, we want to get to breaking news tonight at 8. A crane crash. The driver of this crane became trapped when it overturned in Malibu. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers monitoring this breaking story from the desk. And Mike, were you able to get that or were they able to get that person out? Yeah, Juan and Leslie, unfortunately, they were not. I uh, just hung up the phone with LA County Fire and I can tell you that man has died after becoming trapped in this crane. I want to show you the video from SkyCal tonight. It was overhead just a few moments ago. Uh, you can see the crane overturned here. This is uh, just north of PCH. And you can see that that crane came over, took out some power lines and power poles with it. Uh, and that made the response time for the fire department a little bit longer because they had to wait for uh, Southern California Edison to come up and de-energize those power lines before they could get in there. This is on Las Flores Canyon Road. You see one of the other workers there uh, kind of watching this all unfold. Uh, County Fire worked for a long time to try to get to that person. Unfortunately, I can tell you tonight that he has died as a result of his injuries. Uh, obviously, Las Flores is going to be closed for an extended period of time. We did see some um, tow trucks being come, pulled up into there kind of towards the end of when SkyCal had to leave. So it looks like they're going to try to get that uh, uh, crane uprighted. But then the power company still has to go to restring those power lines and those power poles. Significant damage caused by this. And unfortunately, a man did lose his life tonight, guys. Yeah, sorry to hear that. All right. Thanks so much, Mike. Welcome to KCAL News at 8, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Leslie Marin. Well, tonight in Orange County, wife, mother, and doctor is facing multiple felony counts for allegedly poisoning her husband. We broke the story when the allegations first surfaced last year. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal has new developments tonight. We first showed you these hidden camera screenshots last year, taken from court documents, allegedly capturing Dr. Jack Chen's wife, Emily Yu, in their Irvine home, pouring Drano into his tea on three separate occasions last July. Yu was then arrested by Irvine police last August on suspicion of poisoning. Now an Orange County grand jury has indicted you on three felony counts of poisoning and one felony count of domestic battery with corporal injury for allegedly poisoning her husband with the liquid drain cleaner that gave him stomach ulcers. We're hopeful that this is the, the next step, steps that are taken to be able to resolve this, this horrible set of circumstances. Chen's lawyer, Stephen Hittleman, says the father and radiologist is doing better now and is taking care of the couple's children. He says they have hours of this hidden camera video to prove their case. Dr. Chen made his, his morning lemonade, and then there's nobody in the kitchen for about 10 minutes until Dr. Yu shows up when we see it, reach under the counter, and pull the red bottle of Drano out, pour it into his, his morning lemonade. But Yu's lawyers say Chen was desperate for a divorce filing and questioned why he would go to a divorce attorney before the hospital or police if he thought he was being poisoned. Yu's lawyer, Scott Simmons, sent me this statement saying, Drano is not a covert poisoning agent. It has a strong smell and taste and is highly caustic. And Dr. Yu is looking forward to her day in court when the truth will finally come out. He actually did go to see a doctor first and foremost. And frankly, um, it's not a surprise that somebody's going to reach out first to try to find out what they should be doing. According to the indictment, it was in April of 2022. When